That's him! Okay, let's go. Jesus Christ! Are you out of your fucking mind? Fuck, 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 fuck! Hey, did you get on the right fucking side of the road? I'm trying! Right! Oh my god! Out of the way! Out of the way! IPD! Police! Certain elements in Washington are pushing for a military intervention into Mexico and much of the public is behind them on this. But the Mexican government claims that such an action would be tantamount to a declaration of war. So the president is between a rock and a hard place here. He doesn't want war with Mexico. But then again, seven federal agents are dead, and that simply can't stand. That's why this should be an FBI investigation. The DEA has compromised itself enough already. FBI? We've been investigating the Mendoza cartel for over a year oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's worked out well. Enough! This interagency bullshit has got to stop. That's why I brought in Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon. She created this task force and she'll be running it. Miss Dixon? Agent Stone was investigating the sale of military weaponry to the Mendoza cartel in Juarez. Why the hell wouldn't you tell us that? Water under the bridge, Agent Guerra. The Mendozas are a new player in Juarez. Not much is known about their leader, Juan Mendoza, but the scope of their operation is growing exponentially. Drugs, guns, gambling, prostitution. We've never seen a new cartel grab power so quickly. Which is why we think they may have infiltrated one or more of our federal law enforcement agency. That bombing was no accident. They knew exactly where and when to strike. And that's why neither the DEA nor the FBI are running this operation. We have a totally autonomous team. Miss Dix and I have another meeting to get to. From this moment on, it's all up to you. Don't fuck it up. Let me introduce everyone. Special Agent Eddie Guerra joined the DEA soon after completing his tour of duty. Deserts. F Jesus. 
Jesus Christ! Are you out of your fucking mind? Fuck, 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 fuck! Hey, did you get on the right fucking side of the road? I'm trying! Certain elements in Washington are pushing for a military intervention into Mexico and much of the public is behind them on this. But the Mexican government claims that such an action would be tantamount to a declaration of war. So the president is between a rock and a hard place here. He doesn't want war with Mexico. But then again, seven federal agents are dead, and that simply can't stand. That's why this should be an FBI investigation. The DEA has compromised itself enough already. FBI? We've been investigating the Mendoza cartel for over a year oh, now. Oh, yeah, that's worked out well. Enough! This interagency bullshit has got to stop. That's why I brought in Assistant Deputy Director Shane Dixon. She created this task force and she'll be running it. Miss Dixon? Agent Stone was investigating the sale of military weaponry to the Mendoza cartel in Juarez. Why the hell wouldn't you tell us that? Water under the bridge, Agent Guerra. The Mendozas are a new player in Juarez. Not much is known about their leader, Juan Mendoza, but the scope of their operation is growing exponentially. Drugs, guns, gambling, prostitution. We've never seen a new cartel grab power so quickly. Which is why we think they may have infiltrated one or more of our federal law enforcement agency. That bombing was no accident. They knew exactly where and when to strike. And that's why neither the DEA nor the FBI are running this operation. We have a totally autonomous team. Miss Dix and I have another meeting to get to. From this moment on, it's all up to you. Don't fuck it up. Let me introduce everyone. Special Agent Eddie Guerra joined the DEA soon after completing his tour of duty in Operation Desert Storm. He holds the record for the single largest drug seizure in Southern California history. He's also the only DEA agent involved in the investigation who managed to survive the bombing. FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans, the youngest agent ever to win the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement. She single-handedly apprehended a serial killer who had murdered 32 women and in the process saved the life of his last victim. I brought her into the task force because of her ties to Los Angeles criminal gangs connected to the cartel. So you're in charge overall, but who's in charge on the street? Detective Benjamin McCall. He's with LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division. A 30-year veteran, he is a two-time winner of the Medal of Valor. A homicide detective? With all due respect, ma'am, isn't this a little out of his jurisdiction? Not at all. 
Stone's daughter Jessica contacted Detective McCall the day after the bombing and told him her father had been threatened just the day before, which means we actually have a suspect and a witness. The suspect is Antonio Alvarez. Why'd she take that to the LAPD? Why not come to us? That's why. That's right, Agent Guerra. They all served together in Vietnam. McCall knows them both. So two became cops, and one became a crook. Worse than that, he's an asshole. Agent Evans, Agent Guerra, I'd like you to meet Detective McCall. You'll have whatever you need as far as resources. But in terms of manpower, you're on your own. No backup from federal agencies. We don't know who we can trust, so you'll only report to me. I'm going to hit the Mendoza cartel as hard as humanly possible. Find and arrest those responsible for that bombing, and protect the witness, because without her, we don't have anything. What if we find out the cartel has someone inside the FBI? Or the DEA? Well, then the hardliners will have a reason to send the military into Mexico, and let's pray that's not the case. Because if that happens, a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt. We need to let the public know that any foreign asshat who comes after us in our own country will get lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. 